Are you ready for another nursing pharmacology, nursing drug study discussion? Mm -hmm. For today, I'm serving you magnesium sulfate. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi, nurses. Another nursing pharmacology discussion ang ale ko sa inyo for today. We're gonna have a nursing drug study of your magnesium sulfate. Yes, MGSO4 nga po ang ating discussion for today. Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong magnesium sulfate nursing pharmacology nursing drug study. Now, we all know that this is your uh, magnesium sulfate MGSO4 ay ang ating anti-dysrhythmic and V-electrolytes. Mm -hmm. Sa ating discussion for today, tatalakayin natin to. Now, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung um, other nursing drug study na create ko, I'll be putting the playlist link on the icon button or you can simply check the description box. I also created tons of nursing concept uh, discussions so you might want to check that out because that is really intended for you to make your study easier and para magkaroon ka na more reference sa pag-aaral mo, okay? Now, simulan na natin ang ating discussion for today with our objectives. We're gonna discuss the classification, generic name and brand name, route and dose of administration, mechanism of action, indications, contraindications, side effects, and of course, your nursing responsibilities. Handa ka na, let's begin. Classification, generic, and brand name, route and dose of administration. All right, pretty straightforward. Let's do this. So in terms of classification, now we all know that um, this medication, MGSO4, is classified as anti-dysrhythmics and V-electrolytes. Yung po siya. Electrolytes, magnesium, right? Now, generic name, magnesium sulfate. Your brand name, there's actually two, Epsom salt and sulfamag. Now, in terms of route and dose, for adults, parenteral nutrition, 8 to 24 mex per day, IV. For mild magnesium deficiency, 1 gram IM or IVQ6 for 4 doses or 32.5 mex per 24 hours. For severe hypomagnesemia or decreased magnesium level in blood up to 2 mex per kilogram IM within 4 hours over 5 grams. Ito nga po ay 40 mex per 1,000 ml D5 water IV infused over 3 hours. IM naman, kung bibigay mo siya intramuscular, toxemia, eclampsia, nephritis, yun isa kanyang indication, 4.5 grams of 50 solution of 4 hour as needed. For IV, 1 to 4 grams of 10 to 20 percent solution do not exceed. Yes, naalala mo to sa may yung ating magnesium magsul, ba binibigay to sa mga eclampsia, mamaya di-discuss natin yung mga indication. Ito na tayo, ha? But for now, we're just gonna discuss the mechanism of action. Ano nga bang action ng ating magnesium sulfate? Now, the mechanism of action of magnesium sulfate is thought to trigger cerebral vasodilation. Thus, Reducing ischemia generated by cerebral vasospasm during an eclamptic event. The substance also acts completely competitively in blocking the entry of calcium into synaptic endings, thereby altering neuromuscular transmission. Alright, now how does magnesium sulfate prevent seizure? Natanong mo na ba yon? MGSO4 is an anticonvulsant activity of magnesium sulfate may act to increase the seizure threshold by inhibiting NMDA receptors, thereby limiting the effect of glutamate. Yun yun. Now, we're gonna have indications so here are some of the indications why the doctor is prescribing your um, MGSO4. Now for acute nephritis for children to control hypertension, for hypomagnesemia replacement therapy, 
for preeclampsia or eclampsia patients sa mga buntis, short-term treatment for constipation, evacuation of the colon for rectal and bowel exams, to correct or prevent hypomagnesemia, treatment of a typical ventricular arrhythmia so yung ating torsades de pointes, adjunctive therapy for the treatment of acute MI, inhibition of premature labor, adjunct treatment of exacerbations of acute asthma. So these are your indication, you guys. So you might want to take a screenshot of these para naman makatulong sa pag-memorize mo, okay? Now, what are the contraindications? Here we go. So, first, you have allergy to magnesium products, heart block, myocardial damage, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, or other symptoms of appendicitis, acute surgical abdomen, fecal impaction, intestinal and biliary duct obstruction, and hepatitis. What else? Do not give during two-hour preceding delivery because of the risk of magnesium toxicity to neonate. Now, use cautiously with renal insufficiency. Kasi nga, ito ay ni-excrete through the urine. Alright. So, what are your side effects, you guys? When you talk about your side effects, meron siyang effects sa ating central nervous system. Makikita mo siya o magmamanifest siya as weakness, dizziness, fainting, and sweating. Ano pa? CV. Palpitation. This can cause palpitation. And for your GI, excessive bowel activity, perineal irritations. Mm-hmm. Pwede may pangangati dyan. Meron din tayo sa metabolic hypermagnesemia and toxicity in patients with renal failure. Okay. So what are the nursing responsibilities when you are a nurse who is administering magnesium sulfate to a patient? Well, here it is. First, reserve IV use in eclampsia for immediate life-threatening situations. Give IM route injection of undiluted 50% solution for adults, dilute to a 20% solution for children. Monitor serum magnesium levels during parenteral therapy. Monitor knee jerk reflex. Do not give magnesium sulfate to patient with abdominal pain kasi nga isa yun sa mga contraindication, nausea and vomiting. Monitor bowel function. If diarrhea and cramping occur, discontinue usage. All right. Now, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You guys, maraming maraming salamat nga po sa panonood. I hope you learned something. And let me know if you have other nursing topics, nursing medications, or drugs that you want me to create for you. I'll be more than happy to create a nursing drug study for that. Okay? Na abangan nyo po yung ating mga next upload. And please, please, please check out the other nursing contents I created. Nursing videos, nursing educational videos I created for you. I'll be putting it on the description box or simply click the icon button. I'll see you again next time you guys. You stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a big bro my channel. You're already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Koto. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again.